Sorry. My tent. This is the size of my tent. Okay? Gear top. From here to here, probably about 14 inches. Okay? Tent, poles, stakes are all inside of here. Put that. Hey, good morning everybody, Mark Krasinski here, and uh, this is for my influence people that I'm going to meet up with in North Carolina here in uh, less than a month. We got uh, meeting up on March 8th in Charlotte, we got uh, the influence trilogy com finalization, completion I should say, coming up. And I wanted to go over, here's my pack, okay, one of the things that they told us to bring was a, was a pack, day pack, so that we can go, I'm assuming we're going hiking and whatnot out in the woods. And because they asked us to bring a tent, sleeping bag, ground cloth, uh, I'm assuming we're spending the night outside in the woods. I cannot tell you how excited I am about that. This is the thing I live for. This is, it's been a long time since I've been able to do it, and I am so excited about being able to go out there and take care of this. Let me adjust this a little bit. So, here's my pack. This is what I will be bringing. For those people that have not gotten their pack yet, make sure you get one that's sized right for you. There are literally hundreds of different types of packs out there, and you want to be able to have it so that it fits you properly. Now, this one here is uh, adjustable, so small, medium, large, and I've got this set up a little bit higher, so even though that there's different spaces within there, I can actually increase the size of this thing. This is a, what they call a 65 plus 10 L. It allows me to hold up to 65 pounds. Now I can add more onto it on the outside of it, but the pack by itself is 60, for 65 pounds. Um, got bigger ones, but uh, if you're starting to get into more of a professional type hiking and whatnot, and I don't find, consider myself a hiker, a uh, professional hiker. It's a bit chilly, but not as cold as it used to be. We were running around between zero and 15 degrees for the last few weeks. It is about 30 degrees outside right now, and it feels nice and warm. I'm not all layered up as I would normally be, uh, but I do I do have layers on. I don't have all of my uh, my cold weather gear on right now, and that that's an important thing that what we were talking about or what we were asked to take bring with us to influence is enough clothes to layer up because we're going to be spending the night outside talking about 40 degrees 40 degrees is still cold okay your body goes into hypothermia uh, less than 80 degrees okay 95 degrees okay the colder your body temperature gets you start putting yourself into hypothermia so at 40 degrees Especially if we're going to be laying out on the ground, okay? The, the ground, especially with this snow cover, is a huge heat sink. It will suck the heat out of your body into the ground itself. So one of the things they asked us to bring was a ground cloth, okay? That is to protect your equipment, your, your tent, but it also puts a barrier between you. So you got the ground, you got your ground uh, your ground cloth, your tent on top of that, your sleeping bag on top of that. It creates these air barriers between you and the ground. Now, I've got a blow-up mattress, which I will be bringing as well, to create that extra layer. So I am not laying on the ground itself. And we're going to show you here right now what I'm talking about. And this is important because you all should be doing the exact same thing. You should be taking the stuff that you just bought. If you did go out and buy brand new stuff, 
or you had it or you haven't used it for a while, pull that stuff out. Open it up. Make sure there's nothing wrong. Figure out how to put it together before you get there. That way you don't, you're not there struggling or you're not get, pulling the stuff out and finding out that that stuff doesn't work or there's a tear in it or something's wrong with it. Pull it all out. Open it up. Get it out of there. Lay it all out as if you were getting ready to use it. Okay, And that is what I'm doing right now. That's what I'm going to do this second. Here's my pack. I've got my tent. I've got my sleeping bag. I've got my ground cloth. I've got my blow up mattress. We're going to go put that stuff in here right now. Okay, I'm going to take this off. Just got the camp. Set it up, people. Let's go. And knowing Todd. He's going to give us a challenge that you got to get this thing done in like five minutes because we're getting ready to go do something else real quick. We're going to go jump in the water that's laden with ice. Yeah, Todd. Uh, I, I, I'm watching. I'm listening. All right. Here's my pack. Okay. What's up? My ground cloth is just a regular stuff. Now, this tarp is probably bigger than what I probably need, but it's what I got in my pack. It's a little windy out here. Sorry, my tent. This is the size of my tent. Okay, gear top. From here to here, it's probably about 14 inches. Okay, tent, poles, stakes are all inside of here. Put that together.
This part of it Brown mattress.
Okay, my stakes so, going around there, and I've got some uh, guide ropes that go through each one of these uh, loops that'll hold everything down. did not bring my hammer with me. I will be bringing some sort of hammer. Ground is too frozen right now, so I can't get my stakes in there, and I'm not looking to destroy things right now, but I saw how, how easily I was able to put that together. I've got my, my mattress in there. I've got my, I'm on top of my, uh, my ground uh, cloth. This is just a, just a regular tarp that I got from Lowe's, Home Depot, Ace Hardware, wherever. True value. Tent. Got the uh, protective one. The rain uh, guard up on top of it. I've got the uh, the uh, my mattress. I've got my sleeping bag, and I've got everything else inside of there. And it is nice and cozy in there. A little bit warmer in there than it is out here. But this rain and wind guard, the type of tent I bought, is for extreme weather um, and this one here obviously uh, torrential rain torrential wind is not going to protect me very much but it will at the very least for anything fairly minor um, outside of a hurricane i'm going to be okay with this so like i said i'm not going to put everything back um put everything together i'm just going to leave it the way it is um, I am considering bringing an air pump for those people that uh, can't just blow into their inner tube and, uh, and uh, um, because their, uh, their lung capacity, whatever, isn't, uh, they don't have it. Don't want anybody getting a heart attack or anything like that. So I'm going to put this back together, put everything back in my pack, and then uh, we'll put a... We'll be done for the day. If you guys have any questions about what I've done here or about your your equipment, put them down there in the comments. I'll look them up. I'll take a look and see what is necessary. I'll try to bring the things that I think I'm going to. I'll I'll, I'll put a list of all the things that I'm bringing. That way, if you don't feel the need that you need to bring it or you don't want to bring it, that's fine. I don't have a problem loaning my stuff out to everybody else. Because one of the things that I try to do is be prepared, not only for myself and things that I think I need, but for things that people may have forgotten to bring themselves. So, anyways, I hope to see everybody there at uh, Influence in uh, North Carolina here in less than a month. I am looking forward to it. I can't tell you how excited I am about it. I've already prepped everybody at work that I will not have access to my cell phone. I will not have access to my laptop. I am leaving that stuff, leaving my laptop 
probably get, likely I'll give my phone to uh, to Todd to hold on to it so that he doesn't, uh, so I don't feel compelled to uh, um, to answer it. We'll leave instructions on how to get a hold of me if they absolutely have to get a hold of me. Outside of that, the only phone that I'll be bringing or carrying with me on a regular basis is my personal phone, which I use to build content with for my site. I can't tell you how excited I am. <laughs> all, right. all right. I hope to see you, everybody. I, all those people that couldn't make it this time, I, I'm sorry. I, I wish there was something more I could do. Uh, I'm going to miss you guys. Take care. I'll see you guys.